In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download and install the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Before you can download DaVinci Resolve, here are some of the uh, DaVinci Resolve system requirements you need to know about because if you're using a low-end laptop, this may not work as perfectly as it should be. So you need to have a Windows Creator 10 or later and then you need to have a Core i7 processor or better and then the system memory needs to be 16 GB or more, 32 GB when using Fusion and Fusion is available in DaVinci Resolve Studio, the paid version. And then you may need the integrated GPU or discrete GPU with at least 2 GB of VRAM. And then uh, you may need Black, Black, Black Magic Design uh, Desktop Video 10.4.1 or later. So if you actually scroll down, you'll see a couple of options from different people uh, and their recommendations, the CPU, the RAM, etc. So it's important to know that you may need to have these on your laptop or your editing uh, interface. And depending on whether you're using uh, Mac or Linux, please look this up before you download DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get to downloading. Now, the two versions of DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve, the free version, and DaVinci Resolve Studio. So I'm going to begin by making a search for DaVinci Resolve. I'll click on that and then I'll click on the first link black magic design and then the products DaVinci Resolve 18. I'll click on that. And once I open uh, the latest version is DaVinci Resolve 18.5. So you'll see everything here and then you see the option to download the free version. It's free, but the DaVinci Resolve Studio is about $295 click on the free version DaVinci Resolve and then you'll see this pop-up where you'll get uh, DaVinci Resolve 18.5 for Mac OS, Windows and Linux and then we've got the paid version DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.5 and it has everything that we have in DaVinci Resolve Studio but uh, what we get here is we got the Neuro Engine for Automatic AI, Region Tracking, Stereoscopic Tools, etc including the transcription tools that allow you to edit your videos by editing text. That's included in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. But let's assume we want to download for Windows. Click on Windows. And once you do, you're going to get these pop up to fill in your details uh, the way you want. So I'm going to fill this in. Now I filled all the information I need to fill. Uh, I'll click on register and download. And once I do that, you're going to get your download link and automatically it's going to begin downloading. So it's a big file, it's about 2.5 gigabytes and it is a zipped file. So it's going to take you a while to download if your internet connection is not that good. Mine is not that bad, but it is not the best. So for about 2.5 gigabytes, it's going to take me about 10 minutes to download. Once it's done, we're going to come back, extract that particular file and install it on our computer. Our version of DaVinci Resolve is almost done downloading. So it took roughly about 10 minutes to get where we are. And once it's done downloading, we're going to extract it to a computer so that we can get the installation file. Let's give it a couple of seconds because it's almost done. A 2.5 gigabyte file and people with uh, faster connections will get this in a couple of seconds. Uh, people with poorer connections, it will take you a uh, kind of a longer time to get this done. So it's, uh, it's just a quick countdown here and then we can extract our file for installation. Now the download part is done. You see for the free version you need to fill out that particular form, uh, register to download and then uh, for this other one all you need to do is just make a purchase and then you're good to go. So I'll click on open the downloads folder and once I do we're going to get our file right inside here. Now. I'm going to extract this into a folder. I'm going to right click on it and then click on 7-zip. Extract here to DaVinci Resolve. It's going to create a tab for me. So I'm going to use 7-zip uh, uh, for this and it's going to do that for me and put it in a folder. So DaVinci Resolve is already available right here. If I double click on this, I'm going to see the executable Windows file. Now that we have extracted the executable file of DaVinci Resolve, let's install it. I'm going to right click on it and click on run as administrator. 
once I do that, it's going to give me the interface to actually uh, make my settings known to my computer of what I want to do. So there we go. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? That's DaVinci Resolve, Verified Publisher, Blackmagic Design, PTY Limited. Click on yes. And it's extracting this particular file. And a couple of things here. So it gives you the Blackmagic control panels. Because we don't have the physical control panels, I'm going to uncheck that. Blackmagic role player, I'm also going to uncheck that. And I'm not going to check the Fairlight Audio Accelerator Utility uh, because I'm not using the studio version. But as for DaVinci Resolve 18.5, that's what I'm going to use. And it's being installed on a Windows 10 64-bit machine. Once I'm satisfied, I'll click on install. It's going to welcome me to the wizard. I'll click on next. And then I'll accept the terms for the license agreement. I'm not sure anybody reads the terms, but you can read if you want. To. I'll click on next. And then set where I want the file to be uh, installed. You can change if you want to. I'll click on next. And then I'll click on install. It's going to begin the installation process. So we're just going to give it a couple of seconds and it's going to be done within no time. It's updating components, uh, registration. Uh, it's almost done with the installation. It's super, super fast. If uh, your computer satisfied the uh, minimum requirements of DaVinci Resolve. It's copying new files. There we go, it's almost done. And then we can just see how it looks like uh, once you open it up for the first time. So uh, let's keep going. And we're almost done with the installation of our DaVinci Resolve. Uh, that's the free version. So uh, there we go. Uh, click on finish. Installation complete, okay. And now once that is done, you can just come here to the search bar and then look up DaVinci Resolve, click on it to open it up. And the first time you open it up, it's going to give you the what's new. So cut page enhancements, we've got universal scene description, remote monitoring, you can upload directly to TikTok, you've got the speech to text editing, fusion multi-layer tool, part timeline audio back auto backups, Fairlight Edit and Mix. I'll click on Continue. And because it is your first time, then you may need to go through the quick uh, setup. Now, let's click on the quick setup. So uh, it's actually going to check your system requirements. And this is important because if you don't have the right operating system and graphics card, it might be a little bit difficult to work with it. Click on Continue. And then, uh, so set up your project what type of project would you like to start there's a standard uh, there's the standard definition high definition ultra hd uh, let's go with this hd 1080p that's what we're going to go with you can also go with 720p but let's go with 1080p click on continue the media location where would you like to store your media you can set up where you want it to be click on continue and then you can select your keyboard layout uh, if you don't know, just leave it as a default. Click on continue. And then you're all set. We hope you enjoyed DaVinci Resolve 18.5. I'll click on start. Once I do that, we've got uh, a new workspace here. It's loading up uh, so that we can now set up our first project. So uh, let's see. There we go. That is what DaVinci Resolve 18.5 looks like. Once you download, and install it on your computer for the first time. And that is how you can download and install DaVinci Resolve for free. I hope this video tutorial is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.